Hello YouTube, Daniel Gallet here. Welcome to the second part of an e-scouting video series I've put together. In the previous video, we took a look at Unit 18B in New Mexico for elk. We started with a blank Google Earth database and gathered free public information from state and government websites to help build a database to find places to hunt. Yes, we can use much of the same information and techniques to scout for mule deer as well. We ended off the last video with all the waypoints in Google Earth ready to export to Onyx Hunt's website. To do that, we take all the waypoints and place them in one folder. I'm gonna select them all and put them in the folder. I'm gonna export them out. And to import into Onyx Maps, it needs to be a KML. So let's save it as a KML. All right, so now we have Onyx Maps open up on a computer, and we are going to import the KML from Google Earth. So you go to My Content, Import. You could select from computer, or you could drag and drop. So let's go ahead and drag and drop 16B, and save to My Content. Save successful. All right, so. Like I was saying earlier, the circles will come in, but all the pins are going to come out red. So you're going to have to change the colors of these. Uh, years ago, Onyx was all red all the time, no matter what, but they finally have taken the suggestions from people, and I emailed them several times to finally change the pin colors to change it up so you, you can make a spot a different color see it's, it's really handy to organize so what we're gonna do here is get the map layers onto onyx all right so we've imported all right so now we have the onyx layers imported in um, everything comes in in red so the next thing that we're gonna do is turn on the map layers um, I have a few map layers on already, like uh, these trail and recreation ones. I have the motorized trails turned on. I have the trail mileages and trail slope trails, recreation sites. So that's pretty handy to see where there's actual uh, trails. So you can see there's there's no trails back in here. So we did a good job over here. No trails. Um, this one over here, no roads. But you got to keep in mind we're three miles from there, so we could hunt this one either side or we could focus more over in here so uh, over in here looks like there are no active roads over in here so this looks like a pretty good spot as well um, other layers that I like to turn on for hunting uh, would be like your wilderness area so this is all in the wilderness area most of the areas that we picked out um, where there's timber cuts. Um, in some states, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation layer is handy. There could be access points. Uh, where is the burn? Here we are. So you can see there's a burn in here. So we could focus on some pins over in here. You'd see a lot of the spots we picked over in here were in some historic burns. Um, there's a big burn in here. In these two spots that we picked out. Um, another one that's handy to use, but we kind of use the, the distance factor from roads without this onyx layer. And this one gets to be a little annoying to me sometimes, is that it makes it all purple and white. But the further away you are from a road, more in the wilderness area, you know, there's going to be less roads, less hunting pressure. So if you're willing to go beyond your six miles, then good for you. But if you're hunting by yourself, you need to consider being able to bring the game back to your vehicle on your own. So there are some layers I usually leave on all the time. And then there's uh, state specific layers. Let's go to New Mexico and turn on land, unit boundaries, ranches, access layers. Okay, so we could see here we are, 16B, and you know now we can pretty 
now we could be pretty confident, you know, we're away from other hunters. You know, we know that this is a trail right here, where this water hole is, but these two aren't, you know. So we made a mistake on Google Earth putting this pin here. Um, there's a trail right there, so. So another thing we can do in Onyx, you can delete your circles. And Onyx, this last year, came up with a new feature. So you can take your pin where you're going to start hunting from. Looks like the trailhead's more over here, looking at Onyx. Um, and then you could change it up. You know, this could be where, let's look for a truck. Sweet. And we could change the color. Um, so you could change color of your pins. We could add a radius. Um, you want to do your six mile radius. So, you know, similarly, what we were doing in Google Earth, we can do in Onyx now. So this is a new feature as of this summer. So it's kind of why I was wanting to show you guys the, the, the radius features. Um, you know, it's a built in feature into Onyx now. And, you know, let's say you have uh, one of the water holes over here. Um, if you know there's water, there's there's going to be game. And, you know, let's say elk travel three, five, ten miles to water. Um, we could draw a, a three-mile radius around this water hole. So somewhere in here, there's going to be some elk just because there's water and there's some good habitat. So this just kind of gives you a, a game plan, you know, of some places that you can go hunt, some backup areas, um, primary and backup. Um, I would say probably one of my favorite spots, just looking at this unit, if I were to elk hunt, would be like in this corner here, um, this one over in here. Uh, there's some fresher burns over here. Just uh, a generic overview of this unit um, using Google Earth and Onyx Maps. So to show you all everything that we did in Google Earth and imported to Onyx Maps on the computer website also shows up on the Onyx app. And if you're going to go hunt this place and you don't have a GPS, you can go offline, online, and you can create a new map. And you could do a you have to make multiple. So if you're hunting this area here, uh, you could save that. Usually I do multiple. So I try to layer them up together. And once these all download, you're going to make sure you have enough space on your phone. So you see, we downloaded everything in our radius that we wanted to look at here. You need a little bit of high def if you go in that corner there. So just go through the map and download the higher definition versions of it. Now let's say we're actually in the hunt unit. We have all of our pins selected. We have our radiuses set from Onyx or, or Google Earth imported in. And we can hike on out and get to the spots. And you have places that you determine that are a little bit further from trails and a little bit further from pressure. And go ahead and hunt them. And you can use this app, just as you see right now, to the detail that we're seeing while out in the wilderness and you're going to see your location and use your phone as a GPS, not having to use a, another GPS device. But if you have a Garmin, that's another good backup plan to use other than just your phone and the Onyx Hunt app. All right, this wraps up the two-part e-scouting video series I've put together using Google Earth and Onyx maps to find places to hunt before even setting foot in that place.
I hope this information helps a lot of people out, whether this is close to home or you're traveling a thousand miles from out of state to hunt in the West. I'd appreciate it if you like this video, comment if you have any questions, and please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And thank you for watching the video.